The Astronomy and Astrophysics Decadal Survey is a review of astronomy and astrophysics literature produced approximately every ten years by the National Research Council of the National Academy of Sciences in the United States. The report surveys the current state of the field, identifies research priorities, and makes recommendations for the coming decade. The report represents the recommendations of the research community to governmental agencies on how to prioritize scientific funding within astronomy and astrophysics. The editing committee is informed by topical panels and subcommittees, dedicated conferences, and direct community input in the form of white papers summarizing the state of the art in each subdiscipline. The most recent report, Astro 2010, was released in 2010. Topic: <laughs> Ground-based astronomy, a 10-year program, 1964. The first report, Ground-based astronomy, a 10-year program, was released in 1964. The report recommends construction of national observing facilities, including especially mid-sized ground-based optical telescopes. Topic: <laughs> Astronomy and Astrophysics for the 1970s, 1972. The second report, Astronomy and Astrophysics for the 1970s, was released in 1972. It recommends priorities for both space and ground-based programs, and was instrumental in the eventual construction of the Very Large Array. Astronomy and Astrophysics for the 1980s, 1982 The third report, Astronomy and Astrophysics for the 1980s, was released in 1982. It identifies construction of the Very Long Baseline Array as a priority. The Decade of Discovery in Astronomy and Astrophysics, 1991 The fourth report, The Decade of Discovery in Astronomy and Astrophysics, was released in 1991. It recommends launch of the Advanced X ray Astrophysics Facility which was realized in 1999 as the Chandra X-ray Observatory. It also recommends launch of the Space Infrared Telescope Facility, realized in 2003 as the Spitzer Space Telescope, the fourth and final in NASA's Great Observatories program. Topic Astronomy and Astrophysics in the New Millennium, 2001 The fifth report, Astronomy and Astrophysics in the New Millennium, was released in 2001. It gives highest priority to the construction and launch of next-generation space telescope, now the James Webb Space Telescope with launch planned for 2019. The report reaffirms the 1991 recommendation for the completion of the Millimeter Array, now part of the Atacama Large Millimeter Array International Collaboration. It also examines the benefits of a robust astronomy research program to the nation, and expresses concern regarding the percentage of funding tied to a few large projects. Topic: New Worlds, New Horizons in Astronomy and Astrophysics, 2010. 
The sixth report, New Worlds, New Horizons in Astronomy and Astrophysics, was released in prepublication form in August 2010, with the final version set to be released by the end of the year. Recommendations for scientific questions to be answered include, the nature of dark energy, the structure, distribution, and evolution of exoplanetary systems, detailed examination of extreme processes including supernovae and the merger of superdense objects, and how galaxies and galaxy clusters formed from the early hot universe. The report also examines technical readiness, scheduling, and funding issues as well as basic science. The recommendations consider a range of funding scenarios based on projected budgets for the major funding agencies, NASA, the National Science Foundation, and the Department of Energy. The top priorities identified by the report include Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope WFIRST, a proposed space-based telescope to be located at Lagrangian Point L2 that will survey and catalog exoplanets and may help settle questions of the nature of dark energy. Large Synoptic Survey Telescope LSST, a proposed wide-field ground-based telescope that will provide measurements of weak gravitational lensing and map and record transient or moving phenomena such as supernovae and near-Earth asteroids New World's Technology Development Program to plan and lay the groundwork for future missions to study nearby Earth-like exoplanets Cerro Chajnantor Atacama Telescope CCAT, a proposed ground-based telescope sensitive in the millimetre and submillimetre range. CCAT will survey young dusty star systems and galaxies, and serve as a companion to Atacama Large Millimeter Array at the same site. Other priorities include Laser Interferometer Space Antenna (LISA) for measuring gravitational waves, and International X-ray Observatory for investigating black holes and the evolution of large-scale structure in the universe. The report also recommends augmenting the Explorer program for small and medium-sized missions with rapid turnaround and high scientific return, and the creation of a midscale innovations program within the National Science Foundation for funding projects in the $4–135 million range. See also Planetary Science Decadal Survey Enduring Quests and Daring Visions <laughs>